Oh, it is time to start out the year the right way. And the only way to start out a party is with this guy right here. Oh, yes. Exactly right, Jason Christie. You know what? Why don't we just slide on down to the Cherokee Nation and have us a tie? I think it's fair to say that today is potentially one of the biggest days of the entire season on the Zona Show. If you notice the four bullets in my gun, a spinner bait, a spinner bait, two crankbaits, that's not the key bullet. It'd be that one, Bassmaster Elite Series Pro, Jason Christie. Uh, we're not gonna use no spinning rod. We're gonna have 25, 25, and 25. That's all we're gonna be. We're not gonna catch one any deeper than that. It's 40, probably 48, 49 degree water. That's gonna be the show. That's High five, simple. high five, do it. We're gone. That was awesome, slow motion, that right there. <laughs> that was a Bassmaster Classic high five right there. I didn't even name what lake we're on. That's what's great. We're around Jason's house. I have invited Jason Christie to be on the Zona show like 97 times. Hey, come to St. Clair, you've won there. Hey, come up to Traverse City. Why don't we go to the St. Lawrence River? This is the confidence I like. No, you coming to my house. <laughs> yes, I nailed that. Heck with this tape and let's go fishing. I'm not gonna lie, really excited today. Really excited. Every region has one of those anglers. You know, before Jason Christie was Jason Christie uh, on the Elite Series, you know, he was a, a, a name that, that you heard out of the area of Oklahoma. And, and I heard his name years and years ago. I met Zona at Grand Lake, you know, eight or 10 years ago. Immediately when I met him, you know, we, we kind of had this, we kind of had this connection that, you know, for some reason we kind of uh, understand each other a little bit. There are very few fishermen that I've covered or fished with in my life that they are going to do what they say, they're going to do what they're going to do, and it's going to be their way. That's a Denny Brower type fisherman. That's a Greg Hackney type fisherman. That's a Rick Klein. That's what makes Jason Christie special to me. You know, during the Elite Series, you know, Zona and I are in all business. You know, and then once we step away from the Elite Series, there's just a, you know, there's a different connection there. It's, it's more of a, of a buddy deal. You know, the guy that you would go pick up, you know, on a Sunday and run down and walk around the pond with. I've always said I don't have a lot of friends, but the friends I do have are tight. You know, we're, we're pretty close. We just have that, we have that bond. I can remember the first spinnerbait bite I got on this river. Come on. My uncle brought me down here fishing. We're going down the bank. He goes, throw it up there, drag it in. You know, Zona gave me the option to go anywhere fishing. Uh, we could have went to Michigan, chase smallmouth, anywhere in the country. And I was passing through Oklahoma. I was up near Bass Pro Shops. He's like, you know what? Scrap it. I want to do a show with you on how I grew up fishing. And I wanted to bring him to some Oklahoma dirty water. Go get it, get it. Get, oh, it's a big one. It's a big one. Oh, it's an old gnarly one. Come here. That's OK. OK. It's a way to start. Would you say, I'm not worried one bit. I'm not worried one bit. bit. <laughs> oh, that is a tall Sally. Tall Sally. Ooh, let's hang on to him for a minute. She's skinny. Ooh. That's not going to be our best four for the day. It will not? No. I love you. I don't like you. I love you. Got to start somewhere. OK. Got to start. Oh, she just threw slack in that. You know really? that spinnerbait bite? When it just, your blade's going and then. Oh. He does it his way. He doesn't do it because they're supposed to bite this way in a region. He fishes what he knows how to do. I'm keyed up bad. Like I'm, 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 I'
it's more the anticipation of when it's going to happen. The later it gets, the better it should get. We went down one of Jason's favorite stretches, spinner baiting, and we didn't catch one, and I heard him go, huh. I heard him do that on the final day of a classic when I covered him. Mm -hmm. And you know what? We're going to dig in together, literally. Here we go. Come on, right at me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> We're good now. We're good. That's it. That's fine. <laughs> That's the kind. Can, How was that spinnerbait bite? Can I do that again one more time today? I couldn't even catch up with them. Zona's Awesome Fishing Show, powered by Ram, is brought to you by Ram, Daiwa, Bass Pro Shops, and Cabela's, Mercury, Humminbird, and by Trocar. Here we go. Come on, right at me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> We're good now. We're good. That's the that kind. <laughs> That's the kind. Can How was that spinnerbait bite? Oh my gosh. We are going to do an old school Oklahoma. Come here. Come. Boom. <laughs> I haven't taped in Oklahoma for like eight or nine years. And here's the one thing I know here. Like the last time we taped here, you have potential of, you know, you may not get a gazillion bites, but you have the potential to catch good ones. And Jason said, let's do a muddy water spinnerbait and gig. What I grew up doing, I'm in. I'm all in. Chips in the table, man. I feel like a lot of the fans that follow me, they, they just, you know, they, they see me. They probably think that I sleep with that spinnerbait, and, and I wanted him to, to get a part of that. And we fished some stretches today that I've fished for 25 years. Get it going. Get it going, We're not bud. going nowhere tomorrow. We're going to stay here. Look, here's what I get from Jason covering the, the Elite Series. I have more respect for the classics that he did not win than any of the tournaments that I've covered that he's won if that makes sense, because he never went against the game plan. You know, I'll tell you how I feel about those two classics. First of all, you know, you have the Grand Lake Classic. It comes to my house. I mean, that's the lake that, that I've done really good and, and I feel like I understand. It's my house. You know, and to go into the last day with a pretty big lead and for Edwin to come back and beat me, uh, that one didn't hurt that bad because when a guy brings in you know, 29 pounds. There's just not a lot I can do. I can do about that, you know. Um, but the second classic, you know, at Hartwell, uh, that one hurt, you know, and, and it hurt a lot. And the reason was, it was literally right there, super glued to my hand, and I just, you know, it's it's almost like this, and I just I let it go, and I lost three or four fish the second, and the third day, you know, that cost me the classic. We went, we went a solid hour um, before we got another bite. Jason? Yep. I am trenched in and committed, bud. <laughs> I am trenched in and committed. There's a lot of vengeance in me right now. You know, Zona can sit there and he can tell you about how stubborn I am. He can, he can blame it on me all he wants, but he is every bit as stubborn to me because I seen it in his eyes. When he got that first bite, we're all in. The Boat US train wreck of the week was the first one I caught on a spinnerbait. That sounds crazy. That fish led us astray on that lake for a long time. We're going to go to the all time spinnerbait capital of the world tomorrow. Where is that? <laughs> Why in the hell am I here? No. Let's focus on the duck. For the first hour, Zona gets a bite, and it's the kind of bite you want on a show, you know, four and a half, five pounder. And we got locked in. The grass is always greener over here. We are so stubborn that we're on a lake, 
And rather than changing and doing something else, we want to fish bushes. I'm with the best grinder on planet Earth, and his whole thing just turned into a lake hopping show. You'll get tricked by a bite or two. Usually by this time of day, we're done taping. Whenever you want to fish bushes and they're not biting in the bushes, you just go to a different lake, <laughs> find more bushes. <laughs> it's tunnel vision. We're looking at bushes. We're dialed in, and it seems like, like that. You know, Zona gets to commentate me all the time when I lose these fish at the Classic on the last day of the Classic. You know, how about we commentate him? Oh, critical miss. Hey, Tommy, let's see that again. Yeah, right, Jason, you know, every miss, every miss is gonna sting, we all know that, but this one, this is gonna hurt our friend Mark Zona just a little bit more simply because of the circumstances. Hey, Tommy, let's go back to it again in slow motion, please. You're right, right, and you know, at the expense of piling on, you still have to say that he could not have picked a worse time to miss a fish. All it did was pour more gas on that fire that we wanted to stay in the bushes the rest of the day. There are very few bites in bass fishing that pull you in and literally say, oh, we're gonna do this the next day. Log on to check out more Z-Train online. This is like my baby. Really? I mean, like, I mean, this this whole river. Yeah. Like, this is where I grew up fishing. The cool thing about lake hopping is you're, there's something always around the next corner. We've done so many of those shows. Here's one of the best things ever that we did in this show. We went to a lake that they were biting, and the next morning we absolutely did not go back to that lake. <laughs> Why would you, right? I look at Zona and the camera guys and I say, you're gonna be so mad at me tomorrow. He said, why? I said, because we're going to go, we're going to go where, where the spinnerbait was born. Sorry, Zona. A little amped up this morning. I understand. I am a stubborn human being, like bad. Like if I say we're going to go skip boat docks, we're not going to skip 300. We're going to skip 30,000 of them. And when they don't bite, I'm going to skip 50,000 of them. You know the angler you are at home. You know who you are. What kept us from going back the second day to the same, honestly, you know, to be honest, is they had a tournament going on. And just out of respect to those guys, we decided to go somewhere else. Remember what your daddy told you. Don't ever leave fish to find new fish. <laughs> You'll never leave fish to find new fish. I told you we never catch him in the middle. <laughs> you just caught one in the middle. 
That was awesome. He's fat. Sorry, that was a little fast, right? <laughs> He's fat. Hey, if you go under the water right now and look at what I was throwing, I mean, it was as simple as could be. It's a half ounce hack attack spinner bait that I put a big Colorado blade on. And the beautiful thing about that is it's a heavy hook, it's a heavy wire, and all you do is roll it by one of those trees or one of those bushes and then just slow it down. Oh, ho, ho. bing bong, peekaboo. That's right, what going on? Yeah, oh no, you didn't. <laughs> it's just warming up. I just want it to keep happening like that. It's, it's just warming up. That is so fun. Was he on the bank? On that uh, log? He was on that outer stump. That one right there? Right there. No, he, 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 I Halfway. Oh, okay, yeah, okay, yeah. okay. He, but he was off the bank. Okay. And that's the beautiful thing about that style fishing. It does not take a lot of shots on goal to where you're, you're holding the trophy, man, right? You know, there might have been a lot of other ways to catch them in this show, but gosh, is that fun. If you're fishing in the spring from 45 to 55 degree water, that's what you do. When you get a bite on that spinner bait, it is like electricity in your arm. Let's do that again and again and again. That's the kind of bites that just, that keep you coming back. I mean, whether you're a frog fisherman, you know, a drop yeah. shotter or whatever it is, it's that bite that, that brings you back doing the same thing and keeps you doing the same thing for a long time. He looked at me and he said, Dodie, he said, I will do this. For the next two days, he said, I'm all in. You never stop learning in bass fishing. I've been so lucky and blessed to fish with, with guys that, that are my heroes. Jason's one of them. We're the same age, but that dude is absolutely one of my heroes. Zona's Awesome Fishing Show, powered by Ram, is brought to you by Seaguar, Boat US, TH Marine, Power Pole, Bass Mafia, Carhartt, and by Strike King. Hey, leave the wildlife alone and fish. You know, I was I was excited for Zona to come in and shoot this, and to be honest with you, I I really didn't know what to expect. I thought it would be a lot more serious than it was. Look at that goose laying low. Mm -hmm. God, Lord. <sighs> like I can't even speak English now. <laughs> oh, gosh. <laughs> JC, I love you, buddy, but we done. Hey, dude, you're the only person more stubborn than me. <laughs> done. That's awesome. Let's keep going. <laughs> yeah, this is cotton mouth heaven. Really? Oh, the whole river. I got. I had one get in the boat. Uh uh. Yeah. No. Yeah. No. He come right down the center. And he had that old head up. Uh uh. And I've always heard that if you hit him right behind the head, it kills him graveyard dead. Dude, he's coming down through there. I got like a sixty-year-old man in the back. Uh uh. He gets right here. I got my flipping stick in my hand. I go. What? No. Wrong thing to do. No, he goes, you can just hear him go tut, 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 down the side trying to get up. In one second, he's over the splash wall and landing right uh, there. Uh-uh. You know, I did learn something. I did learn, besides some sweet spinnerbait tricks, TK is scared of something. Snakes. <laughs> Snake, right there. Where? Right in front of us. Shut up. It was a turtle. Yeah, we're good. But if I don't see them and they sneak up on me, that's oh, yeah, not good. Oh, yeah, well, where they creep? Yeah. 
Just so you know, you're kind of like a rattlesnake. I'm not lying. I've used that term in the Bassmasters with you. It's like you never see him coming. God dang it, you Whoa. son of a <laughs> <laughs> That was awesome, dude. He's the Tahlequah kid. TK. He's not JC. He's TK. I got to straighten this thing out now so it doesn't look like a snake. <laughs> the Ram Beast of the Week? The Tahlequah Kid. The Ram Beast of the Week. <laughs> Go get it, get it. Get, oh, it's a big one. It's a big one. Okay. It's a way to start. Would you say, I'm not worried one bit. I'm not worried one <laughs> bit. <laughs> oh, that's a tall sally. Sorry, Zona. A little amped up this morning. I'm gonna tell you what I've learned about Jason Christie. His stubbornness, his nose down, pig-headed. It's the reason he's one of the best to ever hold a fishing rod. Yeah, you, know, you fish these stretches, the same stretches that I was this tall with my uncle. And the cool thing about that is, you know, share those stories and those, those memories with your buddy. To go down banks and hear stories about him and his uncle or him and his dad and then other stories that we can't air by both of us. Dude, it's bass fishing, man. That's going fishing with your buddy. You know, this show, I think, was just really two buddies just went fishing. Two stubborn buddies went fishing.